Hey there, it's Dallas, and uh, we're going to have a family chat. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot to discuss, uh, including matters of vital importance, and I have always told you that I'm going to be as upfront with you as possible, uh, honest with you at all times, uh, sharing as much information as we're able to share, uh, good or bad. And uh, yes, unfortunately, as is reflected in the title of this video, uh, I do have some bad news to share with you that I'll share with uh, first, along with some details and some questions. You've had a lot of questions about and even some concerns, yes, about uh, the theatrical and the release of season four in general, such as why, why, why do we do a theatrical and why has the streaming uh, release uh, been delayed? Uh, and then also talk about, again, how the finances work, how all this works, why we're doing things the way that we have done them uh, and why the situation that we're currently in is here. And then also, I do have some good news for you, uh, and I do want to give you uh, our plans for the release and for our long-term future. Now, it is important that you watch the whole video before you respond or conclude anything or even complain. Uh, words do matter, and these issues are of vital importance. In fact, they couldn't really be more important about the future of our, our company and this show. And they impact not only season four, which I know you're very passionate about, you're eager to see it if you haven't yet to, as soon as possible, but also our entire long-term future. Um, you always come first. Uh, the vast majority of the decisions that we make are designed with you in mind. Uh, we always want to get you things as fast as possible, which is why uh, this is the, uh, the, the bad news part of what I'm delivering, which is that we cannot release season four to streaming now. Uh, and there will be a delay, a delay longer than we anticipated and hoped for. Uh, there are some legal matters that we are dealing with right now that are hopefully being resolved. Um, and they are, in fact, uh, the goal is to have them resolved so that we can long term and short term better serve you, uh, ensure the show remains free forever and gets to over a billion people and also allows us to be sustainable forever and for the show to be free forever and for us to serve you better in every way that we can. And uh, we are in this process, not only in the legal system, uh, the process that we're going through, but also uh, financially and logistically, we are coming up with ways that we can give this show to you quicker once this is resolved, which I will share shortly. I unfortunately can't share many more details about the legal situation uh, than I am right now, but uh, I can assure you that it is, uh, we are doing everything in our power to get this taken care of as soon as possible. Now, I wanna share with you why we're in this situation um, and it's vital for you to understand it. So I'm gonna give you a few facts. Remember this, and I've shared this uh, before, but this is important to be reminded of. We don't have a studio or a network with billions of dollars at their b disposal that they can share with us. And if they see that the show is starting to get successful, they can pour more into it, like what these media companies tend to do. And uh, in order for our show to be free, and in order for Come and See, uh, uh, the nonprofit organization that uh, helps contribute to the production and to the translation of this show, in order for them to translate it into hundreds of languages and for us to market this show around the world, you have to be reminded that this costs tens of millions of dollars minimum every year. Even though we are, uh, our production costs and our marketing costs and all that are much lower than the vast majority of shows that you watch. It is very, very expensive to pay cast and crew, to, to raise our production values each year, to make sure that we are uh, keeping up competitively with all the other shows and movies that, that are out there, not only for your sake, but for our team. Um, and so movies and television shows and media is extraordinarily expensive. And so the fact that we don't have a big studio or network behind us to finance all that, um, you have to also remember that separate from production, separate from what we do each year just to make the show itself, we have a company, The Chosen. <laughs> we have a company that has over 60 full-time employees, and that allows us to do our international efforts, our social media, and our behind the scenes, our legal, our financial. We have a board. <laughs> uh, we, have, uh, we have to be SEC compliant, as, as you hopefully know, because we are a public company. All of these things, just leaving aside the, 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 uh, the production, just to make, keep our company going, is extraordinarily expensive. And marketing, think about the fact that we have to promote this show and get eyeballs on it all over the world. That costs millions of dollars here and around the world. Um, so with all of that, all of those things that you have to remember that we are responsible for, we're a free show. You have the opportunity to watch the show for free. Now, here are some sobering facts about the fact that we want to maintain being a free show, but also want to make sure that we have to spend and finance 
all of these extraordinary efforts that you're seeing both in production, marketing, translations, and, uh, and our social media and keeping this going and keeping these eyeballs growing all over the world. Uh, so here's a few so uh, sobering facts. Number one, we are one of the most watched shows in the world. That's actually the good part of it. That's not sobering. That's great. But fewer than 5% of the viewers pay for it or donate to the Come and See Foundation. Think about that. So less than 5% of people all over the world who watch this show contribute something financially towards the show. Now, that's actually in some ways good news. It's sobering, but it's actually in some ways good news because it means that there's so many people who are getting to watch the show for free because some people can't, wouldn't be able to watch it if it wasn't free. If you weren't donating to come and see, if you weren't purchasing tickets uh, to, to, to see it in theaters or purchasing gifts or any of the other ways that we somehow are able to generate income, if that wasn't taking place, then these people wouldn't be able to see it free. So it's both good news and uh, sobering news at the same time. Here's another sobering fact. A movie released to theaters makes so much more in one month than we do. Much, not only in one month, but sometimes even in, in a year. Now, again, let me give you an example. Our former partner, Angel Studios, released Sound of Freedom. Remember that movie? Uh, and in the United States alone, it grossed in theaters over $180 million. This is information that you can find online. And total, internationally, when you add up everything, it was over $250 million in gross receipts. That's just in theaters alone. Now, here's the sobering fact. That movie, in theaters alone, generated more gross in just a couple months than The Chosen has ever generated gross-wise in an entire year. And guess what? Here's what's even more sobering. With a movie, the money that comes in can be kept. With us, a show that's multiple seasons, we must keep spending money that is generated for the next season. As I talk to you right now, we have three more seasons left, along with all the translating and marketing and keeping our company going just for this show alone. <laughs> Think about that. So we've done four seasons already, but there's three more to go. And all of the things that I mentioned to you previously, just now, about all the costs that we have, continue. We can't just take the, uh, the, the receipts from a, a theatrical release or any kind of release and just go, wow, that was successful, that's a big profit, that's great. It has to keep going. So to be very clear, and this is very important, it is extremely expensive to be free. <laughs> and without us getting creative and without us, without us figuring out ways to generate income so that we can be sustainable and profit and you know, have a career, our previous path wasn't proving to be sustainable. And so we have to keep coming up with ways for this to be sustainable and for you to be able to see this show free. So just talking about our recent theatrical release, in fact, right now you can still see uh, so, uh, some of the episodes in theaters. Bear in mind that just this alone, the theaters get a large chunk of the gross receipts, the distributor gets a large chunk of the gross receipts, and then when we get a chunk of the gross receipts, that's just a portion of the costs of our company alone. So when we hear from you sometimes, I've seen a, a couple of comments on social media, a couple, uh, that, oh, you know, The Chosen is selling out or they're doing it just for the money, this theatrical release. And they're delaying the streaming, they're delaying the free, free streaming because they're just trying, to, just trying to make as much money as they can. I wish we made enough money on the theatrical to justify that accusation. <laughs> now, of course, I'm being lighthearted, but you just need to understand the financial and uh, logistical ramifications of how all of this works. And theatrical, as, as fun as that has been and as successful it, is, it has been by, by a lot of uh, objective measurements, it's just one way for us to try to be more sustainable and for us to be able to try to keep this show free and keep our company going. Now, what's happening right now is that we are sorting out all of the things that we can do to get this show to you as soon as possible for free. So here's the good news. I'm going to give you some of the good news now and what we're trying to do to make up for this situation, not only in the short term, but the long term. Now, for those of you who couldn't see it in theaters or who are overseas, now it is in theaters in some parts overseas, but there's a lot of you who just aren't able to see it in theaters, even if you wanted to. But I know many of you aren't able to see it even if you wanted to in theaters because either A, you're overseas or B, you can't afford to or you don't live close enough to the theater. Now, keep in mind, it's not coming as fast as we wanted to, it's the free streaming, but it is coming to the Chosen app. So bear in mind, it will be coming to the Chosen app as soon as we can, and it will be free forever. So 
I've seen many comments in addition to what I just talked to you about where it's saying things like, it's unfair. Those of us who can't watch it right now, that's unfair. And I hear you. And I know that it's frustrating. And I know that it feels disappointing. But hopefully you can now understand that it costs hundreds of millions of dollars for this show to be free, for all seven seasons to be free forever. It costs hundreds of millions of dollars. So if you do have to wait a little, which I'm not denying is frustrating, and it's frustrating for me, and it's frustrating for our team, but I hopefully think that you can realize it's, it's a relatively small price to pay uh, for, that, for the fact that you will eventually be able to see this free. Now, number two, we are working right now for season four to get to you in the short term and for this to all be sustainable in the long term. Come and see the nonprofit that is helping finance production and translations is going to be bringing it to churches in the next week or so. So along the bottom of the screen, you can see it's comeandsee.net slash church, comeandsee.net slash church. This is going to actually start March 13th. So you can check out that website for all the details and for maybe even an opportunity for you to bring it to your church. But uh, side note, one thing I want to mention that Come and See is also doing the same thing in prisons. So in prisons all over the country, they're going to get a chance to see this uh, earlier. So somewhat, sometime, uh, I, and I believe it's March 13th, but sometime during this month, uh, there are going to be opportunities to be able to see uh, the chosen in churches. So that's one way that we are trying to get it out to you in any way that we can as soon as possible. Another thing is we are extending some of our theatrical opportunities. So keep checking your local listings and another website. I hope you're taking notes on some of this stuff. Uh, but along the bottom of the screen, uh, thechosenriseup.com, that has details. So you can keep checking that, keep checking your local listings. We are working with the theaters to keep extending this opportunity to see uh, season four. And we will be bringing it to theaters sometime in the near future, hopefully before the end of the month. To just Again, we're working all this out right now, um, but uh, we're bringing it to you at a discount. Uh, so I know some of you are like, well, great, you're going to extend in theaters. That doesn't help me much because I can't afford to. We're, gonna, again, we're trying to get this to you as soon as we can. We're trying to get it to you as cheap as possible. And so uh, we will be bringing it at some point to you uh, at a discount. Uh, so you can have that opportunity to see it in theaters, which I know that some of you missed the, like episodes one through three, and then you wanted to see four through six, but you didn't couldn't catch up on one through three. So we will be offering that opportunity again. Keep checking local uh, listings, and we will continue to give you those details. Now, when it does come to streaming, which again, I don't want to be... Uh, Light, too lighthearted about this, but it is soon. I know you hear that word in the show a lot. Um, so it's going to be as soon as we possibly can. I promise to give you updates the moment we have them. We will be releasing it faster at a faster pace than we've normally done it in the past. So for example, last year we did one live stream per week, releasing it once per week in the app. This time we're going to be doing it twice a week. So we'll be releasing it twice a week in the chosen app. And of course, every time we do a release, we do a big live stream where you can watch it with us. And uh, we have this global event where everyone gets to watch it, discuss it together and see it at the same time. And so uh, make sure if you don't have the chosen app, that you get that now. You just look up The Chosen and it's easy to find and you get that app. That's where you will be able to watch it free. You will be able to join us on our live streams. We'll also be doing our live streams uh, on social media, but that'll be twice per week. We will be accelerating the release strategy and the release plans so that you can be seeing it quicker to try to make up for this delay. We will also be in offering the entire season at once if you want to do it that way, if you don't want to wait, if you just can't, like I just can't wait for that twice a week thing on DVD and there will be a paid streaming option. So if you're desperate to watch the whole thing at once, not wait at all, we will be providing you options to get the entire season at once. And uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, finally, come and see. Uh, you've heard this. You've hopefully heard of, uh, of that wonderful foundation and organization in the past. Come and see is the nonprofit whose mission statement includes getting the chosen to the entire world totally free and to have it translated in hundreds of languages. They've been doing that recently, they've been doing that currently, and they're gonna to continue to do that in the future. That will continue to be the case, and if you have donated to come and see, thank you. They wanted to make sure that I passed that along. And once we get past these legal matters and can focus on keeping it free forever, you can continue to contribute to that. But I wanted to just, if nothing else, say thank you for the fact that we're even in the situation that we're in, which yes, has some challenges, has some delays, but also uh, has some good news as well. Ultimately, and in conclusion, yes, there is a delay, and this is no fun. We are as bothered and urgent as you are. No one wants to get this into your hands more than we do, and faster than we do. And yes, we do have to come up with ways to allow us to be more sustainable and to grow this show, so there's sometimes the long-term conflicts with the short-term. But the good news does remain. Because of Come and See, 
we will continue to be the only show in the world, or at least one of the only shows in the world, I can't think of any others, to require no payment or subscription to watch. It will continue to spread around the world. It will continue to be marketed and translated so that people in every country can watch this show. And you can continue to be part of that. So remember, as always, as I always say at the end of these, it's not your job to feed the 5,000, but it is your and my job to provide the loaves and fish. And what that means is, I'm wearing the shirt right now, five and two, is that we do provide our five loaves and two fish. We don't always do it with an outcome in mind. But we do provide our loaves and fish. And if God chooses to multiply them and allow them to benefit the entire world, we want to be part of that. And whatever your loaves and fish are, whether it's buying tickets or gifts that allow our company to sustain itself and to continue to grow, or it's donating to come and see so that production and translations and many of the marketing efforts can continue, or if it's just praying and spreading the word because you're unable to do those other things, or in our case, producing and marketing the show and getting it translated and come and see's case, getting all that done, me making the show along with my team, thank you. Thank you for the loaves and fish that you've provided so far. And thank you for the loaves and fish that you'll continue to provide. We're doing this together and I want to keep doing it with you. So in spite of some of the unfortunate news that I'm de delivering, I hope that you will continue to be excited, excited about the future of The Chosen and we'll continue to give you updates. Thank you so much.